Hey everyone, welcome to Wild Woodland Lavender Farm. My name is Carrie. Just want to say welcome to all of our new subscribers out there. I know a lot of you have come over for the Christmas in July Fairies giveaway. So, welcome. Today I am getting our little brooder house ready to put our Lavender Orpington chicks in. We have nine plus a surprise, uh, a surprise chick that are just getting too big for the tub that I have them in and they need to come out here. But I wanted to take off previously uh, this wrap has been around to kind of uh, winterize it and um, I've wanted to take it off though we don't need it for the summer and uh, plus I don't know I'd like to maybe paint this and get it nice nicer looking than it is now but I wanted to show you guys as I was taking this off I've made a couple discoveries that I didn't know were here so I thought I'd show you guys so as I was taking off the wrap, I noticed this before up here, but I didn't really know what it was for because it was all covered with that, that white wrap paper. So I noticed that I could open this up and I opened it up and look, <laughs> and even more look. <laughs> My husband hasn't seen it yet. <laughs> That's been there a while. That's been there a while. <laughs> Uh, this previous batch of hens that I had I don't even know if they got up here to do it so I'm not sure maybe it was from our the babies that were hatched out on the farm in in uh, last October I don't know how long that's been there but I know it's actually pretty lightweight and uh, I bet you there's no liquid in there at all that's pretty cool feel it Huh. <laughs> yeah, that's been in there for a long time. <laughs> that's cool. Anyway, the reason why this is surprising to me, or nice actually, is that in here I had always noticed that there was um, an entry up there, but I didn't know how to access this part because I didn't know that they had a door for it right here. So I'm excited about that. That's pretty cool to see. So I'm about done taking this off, but on this back side here, they have some like la log slabs here that are, they just nailed down over the top of it. So I've asked my hubby to help out. So Brent went and found some tools to help out, to help me take this off. So what'd you find to help out, hon? Well, you asked me for a crowbar, and so I just brought them all out. Oh. So we've got this kind of crowbar. I don't know if that's going to be what you need to get between thinner pieces of wood and pry them out. The big bar, you probably don't need this one. <laughs> I don't think that one will. That's, that's for demolition. <laughs> that's really. a bit overkill. <laughs> and then the standard medium sized one. Oh, okay. May, might, that might work. And then for the little detail work. <laughs> that's like a my size crowbar. <laughs> so maybe that works for you. I don't know. Whichever ones you want, just don't lose them. Okay. Thanks, hon. Well, when I asked my husband for some tools to help, I kind of hoped he would do it himself, but I guess it's up to me. <laughs> That's okay. I can do it. I'm sure I can. Except when it might be a screw instead of nails. <laughs> it's like got one screw in it. Well, oh, that's working. Ah, there we go. Let's hope this other one is just as easy now. Yep, it's got just one screw as well, it looks like. Well, that one didn't take the screw out, so I might have to have Brent bring his drill out and get that out. Because that's not coming out easily. But I think this will come out now without we're just over the nail, so it's getting hard screw. Ugh. 
Oops. Sorry about that. Much like the rest of this farm, the weeds have gone a little berserk. <laughs> I think my baby chicks are gonna have a jungle in here for a while. We have all that grass that's come up over there. And that's the horrible, awful Bermuda grass type stuff. I hate that stuff. But I'll try to get some of it cleaned up, but I think the chickens can be moved in before I do that. We'll keep probably keep them in the brooder house for a little bit uh, before I let them out just so they get used to this being home. And then it's got a door that opens up over here. And of course this door that we just found about, found out about. And then it's actually got a little door right here, which previously in order to get in, I had to like step over that. Um, but I had found out uh, that there was actually a little door here, but because that white paper wrap, wrap paper was around it, I couldn't, um, utilize it but this will make it a lot better a lot easier to step in and get this cleaned out you can see that's quite a mess in there from the last chicks that we had in there so I'll be cleaning this out before I get the new baby chicks in here all nicely cleaned out in here now. I'm ready to put pine shavings down and I see that plastic is blowing in the breeze. Uh, I kind of like the plastic being there because it does protect against rain storms or whatever. Um, not necessary but I might see about uh, tacking that down some so it doesn't blow. Anyway pine shavings and then baby chicks. The one thing I've noticed about these baby chicks is that they kick up their <laughs> they kick up the pine shavings into their water constantly. So I have these boards that I'm going to put in on top of that and pine shavings will still get in there but at least it's minimized if the water is up and out. Eventually the door will be open and there's a water out there so we don't need to worry about it inside but for now we'll do that. And I think we'll put one in there for the feed bin as well. Alright, let's welcome these Lavender Orpingtons to their new temporary home. <laughs> Home for 
show you. This was the free chick. You can see how it's grown up. It's getting some really pretty colors. There you go. Who's next? Well, hello there. Down you go. quiet one back there by yourself. You gonna get down? Huh? Are you a scaredy chick? Huh? You gonna get down? There we go. No more tub for you guys. Lots of room to spread out now. Let's see what I mean. <laughs> I have to check their water daily or several times a day because they just pack it full. <laughs> All this space and they still want to just huddle together. Move around birds. Alright, I have a bunch of water in here now and a little thing of food. Their old waterer I'm going to empty out and let dry and that will become their feed container now. But looks like they're starting to adjust a little bit. I think they're just taken aback by all this space. I'm going to need to tack that plastic down. <laughs> A breeze just came up and they freaked out. Yeah, I just put some random pieces of wood along the edges of the plastic. <clears throat> and then a couple back here as well. That'll help keep the plastic from flying around for us. Oh look, they found the food. I think they haven't had food all day. Which they have, folks. They have. <laughs> <laughs> 